All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Joker Carnage here, and today I'm bringing you another edition of fighters that won't be in EA UFC 3. And we're gonna be using Koji Horiguchi. Let's look at his perks he has heavy hands level 3, force of nature level 1, game changer level 2, and risk reward level 4. So, some pretty good stand up perks. All those three perks work together heavy hands. Game changer and risk reward. They all work together. The risk reward is very useful for when you have your opponent rocked. So yeah, Koji Horiguchi. I'm not sure when he left the UFC. I think he just didn't resign. I don't, I'm not too sure if he actually just left, but pretty sure he just didn't resign with the promotion, which is the case for a lot of fighters recently that just haven't resigned. Like for example, Gegard Masasi, his contract was up and he just didn't resign. He resigned with Bellator. Horiguchi, I think, went to Ryzen or Risen, however it's it's pronounced. All right, we're fighting Henry Cejudo. Let's see what kind of Cejudo player this is gonna be. I've seen some Cejudo players just just stand up, but really you're supposed to use them with the clinch and ground game. I just want to stand and bang. I have so much fun in the flyweight division. Sometimes the fights aren't really the most technical, but they're so fast and you can just wing punches. It's just it's fun, man. Horiguchi is fun to use too because he's really, really fast. Alright, I should have expected he was going to go for the clinch. Oh man, he beat my turn. He beat my transition there. If I sound a little worse than usual, guys, it's because I'm kind of coming down with a cold. Alright, I got this guy in a clinch. Nope, I knew he was going to do that. Anytime you got a wrestler and you're in the clinch, or like, say you got the tie clinch and they go to single collar, just expect them to do that single collar grab, that single leg grab. You just kind of have to, because it's so fast, you have to pre deny it to, you know, or they're just going to get the free take down. This is not what I want. Let's uh, let's try to get back to our feet here. Oh man, I gotta be careful. I was trying to go to the back side there, but I guess his I guess his punches were interrupting my transition. All right, we got his back now. Oh, I thought I denied that. Let's block that. Ooh, I tried to go to the back side again. Wow, that drained my stamina when he blocked that transition. Let's get up, though. Sometimes you can do that. Oh, he's stunned. He has to be careful. Backing up. Be careful. Oh! I... I tried to tell him. Nah, well, he can't hear me, but... Gotta be careful. He definitely, he saw I was throwing wild, but, you know, before the fight went to the ground. He should have backed up a little bit more. Let us head recover just a bit more, and then started to throw. That was more like a knee than a, than a high kick. But yeah, what I was trying to say before, when I was in mount, if you saw... So Hudo, like his stamina was very low. Sometimes you you can get that get up like instantly, as you guys saw. So just pay attention to your opponent's stamina. You know when they go to mount, sometimes you you can get that get up. It's pretty fast. But yeah, we're gonna look at these stats real quick here. Yeah, I landed a few more shots than he did, but not really much to show. 
But depending on how long these fights last, I'm probably going to get one or two more fights. So I'm going to go set that up and I will be right back with you guys. Alright, I am back with you guys and we are fighting another Henry Cejudo player. Let's see how this, this fight plays out. But yeah, a lot of people think that the flyweight division is unbalanced in this game. But I kind of disagree with that. I feel it's pretty balanced when it comes to having fighters to go against like the champion like you you have a lot of guys that are overall 90 or 91 to go against Demetrius Johnson so I feel in that way is balanced that's just my opinion this guy didn't want to touch gloves Right away, landing like two straights. Oh, alright. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful here. He's parrying. He gotta keep going to that hook. Yeah. When your fighter has a hook, you gotta pick when to throw it. You really have to. Oh, he's hurt to the body. Oh, I'm gonna put this pressure on this guy. His, his block's breaking. He's hurt again. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, hurt again. Oh, I'm lighting this guy up. Oh, went for the takedown. Oh. I was having some fun there. Wow. I rocked that guy, what, like, like four times three to the body one to the head man I kind of feel bad like I've been in that position before that's that's a hard position to survive I don't even know what I hit him with I guess it was that that jab but that's a hard position to be in man up against a fence hurt and then you keep getting hurt that's a hard position. Like I said, man, just trying to have some fun today. Man, that that was that was pretty fun. But let's look at these stats. Not much to show here. He landed 13 shots. I landed 29. I threw a lot, but a lot of that was just trying to get that finish. I was just smothering him. Throwing punches, you know, hoping someone get through. Almost like a Chuck Liddell, Tito Ortiz kind of thing, you know, just when Chuck just unloaded, you know, Ortiz was trying to block, and then just punches were getting through, and then boom, he just got dropped. But all right, I'll be right back with you guys. All right, I'm back, and we're fighting Koji Horiguchi. I am in the blue corner. I don't really like mirror matches, but that's okay. Mirror matches are okay because they're equal. And you can't say, oh, you had the better fighter or whatever. There's really no excuses. But yeah, back to what I was saying in the other fight. A lot of people say that the flyweight divisions on balance in this game I said I don't feel that way but I do feel like like it's unbalanced in real life like I don't feel like there's any real viable contenders for Demetrius Johnson I just don't I just don't feel that way like I know he's fighting Ray Borg coming up but I just don't think Ray Borg is good but I just don't think he doesn't have anything for Demetrius Johnson that Demetrius Johnson hasn't seen or hasn't beat before. He could catch him. That's the thing about MMA. You know, he could catch him. He could catch him, you know, with a punch. He could catch him with a choke. You know, anything's possible. I just don't. I just don't see it happening. That's just my opinion on, on that fight. Oh. 
jab uppercut head kick. That's one of my favorite combos. Sorry, I kind of went from one thing to the other. But let's get to this fight. This is just, we're just swinging here. Gotta be careful. He's trying to parry now, of course. I hate that, man. You, get, you think you're having you know, a good fight with somebody, and then they start parrying. Which, whatever, I guess. But yeah, we're just throwing leather here. We're just throwing. Throwing some body kicks. If he's going to parry, I'm going to throw those double body kicks. I'm going to throw double head kicks. Trying to find the, trying to find the opening here. Starting to slow down a little bit. Oh, man! Why did that not rock him? You guys see that? I threw. Oh, there we go. There's a rock. Oh, what was he doing? He didn't block his. He blocked his body, I think. Yeah, the thousand go body. Nah, man. I guess you should not do that. You should block your head a little bit, and then if you see them going to the body, maybe go block your body. But if I'm hurt, wherever I'm hurt, I try to block. Man, these fights were fast and furious. But I'm going to keep this video a little... A little shorter so this this will be the last fight but yeah guys let me know what you think in the comments I have a few ideas of who I'm gonna do next a few lesser known guys that won't be in the game that I know for sure have either been cut from the game or went to a different promotion So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you did, please leave a like. Also, if you're new around here and you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. As always, guys, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.